these next few minutes submerge your mind. So I want to take you guys through my 30 minute workout that I try to do every day. Uh, I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, moon gels um, that they actually make practice pads, not just the squares that you stick on your on your drums to kind of uh, kill them a little bit. Uh, this is the same material, but it's actually very, uh, very squishy, and this thing completely kills all your rebounds. So this is like playing on a pillow, but even more dead. Uh, what I'm going to do is walk you guys through this 30-minute workout, and really the first couple minutes you just need to stretch. Some of the stretches that I do are just kind of pulling the, the top of my hand back towards my elbow. Uh, I'm already warmed up here, so I'm not going to do all of them, but do that with each hand. Uh, I also like to like to hold one stick out, reach underneath with the other, and then push down. Stretch just kind of the back of your forearm area. Hold for about 30 seconds on each arm. Uh, and then I like to do a thing that I've seen Royster, seen, uh, I've seen Royster do this a lot, is I'll hold the sticks like butt to butt and actually twist. And um, the amount of force that kind of comes when you have the sticks out like this is pretty helpful. You feel it kind of twist everything around. I'm going to start out with two minutes of exaggerated single strokes. When I say exaggerated, I mean get a full range of motion all the way up and all the way down within the stroke. So single strokes for two minutes and the stroke should look like this. Now we're going to move on and do the same exact thing. Two minutes of exaggerated strokes, but now we're going to use double strokes. Same thing, keep it at a moderate speed. Just make sure you're getting a full range of motion in each diddle. Same thing, two more minutes, exaggerated paradiddles. Same concept, moderate speed, but full range of motion in each stroke. This one is going to be spread over one measure of music. We're going to be in single strokes. We're going to go from 16th notes into 16th note triplets. So the first half of the measure is in 16th notes. One E and a, two E and a. The second half of the measure is in 16th note triplets. Three and a, three and a, four and a, four and a. This is spread over single strokes. So we would have one E and a, two E and a, three and a, three and a, four and a, four and a. You want to make it so the 16th note triplet is pushing your max speed for single strokes. So we're going to do 16th notes into 16th note triplets, but these are going to be distributed over double strokes. So we're going to have 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 and a, 3 and a, 4 and a, 4 and a. counting 16th notes into 30 seconds in single strokes. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 4 E and a, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 4 E and a. Same concept again, repeat this exercise, 16ths into 30 seconds, double strokes. playing just single strokes, very relaxed and slow, just a moderate speed, a speed that you wouldn't necessarily get tired at, that you can just kind of keep going. Then what you're going to do is you're just going to immediately blast into single strokes at your absolute fast speed. Now what you want to watch for is just cleanliness, make sure these notes are clean. When they get messy, you're not actually practicing anything anymore, you're just kind of, kind of making some noise. So when they start to get messy, you immediately drop back down to that slower speed, maintain that until you feel your muscles have relaxed a little bit and you can go again and then blast back up into your high speed and that high speed may only last 10 seconds or 12 seconds or 15 seconds um, and that's fine but as soon as they get messy back down and you want to play around with these intervals so go to a full blast until your arms can't take it when the notes get messy drop back down to the slower speed hold that for 10 or 15 seconds and climb back up
to the beginning.